Tesla had a take on receiving information from other galaxies. He had this take on where I, some, some of his uh, inventions were coming from. From the alternating current system that powers our homes to his revolutionary work in electromagnetism and technology, Tesla's contributions to the physics community, science, and technology have left an unforgettable mark on the world till today. In a moment of candid discussion, Joe Rogan hinted that before his death, Nikola Tesla revealed a terrifying secret that its implications continue to echo through the corridors of curiosity. But what did Tesla unveil in his final moments? Why does it continue to shock and intrigue people even today? Join us as we expose all of Nikola Tesla's mind-boggling secrets that are relevant in our society today. Tesla's Final Note Before Death Before his death, Nikola Tesla revealed a terrible secret that he believed to be of extraterrestrial origin. During the debate about this great inventor, Joe Rogan let it slide that while he immersed himself in experiments in his Colorado Springs laboratory, Tesla developed a device known as a paramedical magnifying glass with the ambitious goal of providing free energy and revolutionizing telecommunications. One evening, while Tesla was tuning his receiver, he encountered an extraordinary phenomenon. Unusual rhythmic sounds echoed through the device, causing Tesla, out of curiosity, to interpret them as intentional numerical transmissions from an intelligent source. Tesla's confirmation of the extraterrestrial nature of those signals was based on different characteristics. The peculiar nature of the sounds, unlike the known sounds of the time, and their mathematical precision fascinated him. These signals, Tesla believed, showed that we do not have the normal detectable noise produced by the Earth's atmosphere. He concluded that the signals were deliberately created by intelligent beings from another world. Tesla's belief was not mere speculation, but a thorough analysis of the uniqueness and organized nature of the signals, excluding the possibility that they could be cosmically stationary provides reprocessing units that lead him to suggest that the key to their source is likely to be found outside our planet, maybe on Mars. The tales about aliens have been circulating for ages, with different personalities coming forth with proofs and stories of their encounters. Tesla also has a story to share. The strange encounter with aliens via radio communication. Tesla himself believed he had spoken with aliens in 1899, he was certain that some rhythmic sounds he heard on a radio receiver were coming from space. The Red Cross asked Tesla to project what the greatest human achievement would be in the upcoming century the following year. In response, he acknowledged that he might have already succeeded by getting a message from another world. In his letter to the New York City American Red Cross, he said, There is much to be said for both the glorious past and the inspiring future. But one thought keeps coming to mind. This is my very best for your honorable cause. I have seen electrical movements that don't seem to make sense. Even though they were weak and unsure, they gave me a strong belief and a premonition that, in due time, all people on the planet would look up at the sky and feel awe and love as they celebrated the good news. Brothers, we have a message from a distant and unknown world. The text says one, two, three. Why did he think these signals were extraterrestrial? First, the sounds were strange, nothing like the natural sounds known at the time. What made Tesla's gears turn was the mathematical precision of these signals. These were not random radio noises that could be drowned out by the Earth's atmosphere. It had an unmistakable pattern, which led him to a surprising conclusion. These signals were not created by Mother Nature, but by intelligent beings from another world his belief in the extraterrestrial origin of these signals was no mere wild guess. To him, these signals were a beacon of intelligent beings, and he was convinced that the key to the source was beyond our planet, perhaps on the red planet Mars. Nikola Tesla developed the foundational radio design as early as 1892. He received a patent for a radio-controlled boat on November 8, 1898. This radio-controlled boat was used by Tesla at the 1898 Electrical Exhibition in Madison Square Garden. Can you make it go down to the end, and then back toward us?
An antenna built into the radio-controlled boat allowed Tesla to transmit radio waves from the command post where he was standing. The radio waves were picked up by a coherent, radio-sensitive device, which converted them into mechanical movements of the boat's propellers. Using manually operated controls on the command post, Tesla altered the direction of the boat. At the time, it was national news in America because this was the first use of radio waves. Guglielmo Marconi is widely considered the father of radio, while Tesla is not well known for his contributions to the medium. Tesla was the original inventor of the radio, but Marconi obtained all of the initial payments for the technology. Although Marconi's patents were declared invalid in 1943, Nikola Tesla persisted in his attempts to establish his claim to be the inventor of the radio. Despite this, most people are still unaware of Tesla's contributions to the medium. Tesla was not just any inventor. He was a pioneer in understanding radio and electromagnetic waves. His abilities were unbeatable because he had already shown the world the possibilities of transmitting wireless signals over long distances. His work laid the foundation for today's radio technology. With such expertise, he was pretty sure he could tell the difference between everyday electromagnetic noise and something out of the ordinary. That encounter took place in the early days of radio communication at ETAP. He was not only in the game, but also led it. So the idea that he was the first to pick up signals from outer space didn't seem crazy to him because of his unparalleled knowledge in the field. The idea was a plus. Back then, people were buzzing with excitement about Mars and the possibility of life on another planet. The late 19th and early 20th centuries were full of fictional stories about Martians and space travel, fueled in part by misconceptions such as the so-called Giovanni Ciaparelli one. During this time when people couldn't get enough of stories about outer space and the possibility of meeting alien neighbors. His claims are consistent with this cosmic period and echo the widespread fascination with the mysteries of the universe. He saw the entire cosmos as a giant web in which energy and information flow everywhere. For him, the universe was not just space. It was like a huge party with lots of light and life. He believed that humans are not alone in the universe. He thought that sooner or later, people would start talking to other intelligent beings. This belief was strengthened when he detected mysterious signals. Instead of thinking that the Earth was alone, he felt that we were part of this great cosmic band. However, not everyone understood his extraterrestrial signal theory. Some people said it was a normal Earth or some natural thing, but he doesn't think so. He stuck to his guns, thinking his discovery was another sign that we were living with aliens. After the event, he continued with the idea that we could talk to other planets. Although he never heard those alien signals again, he did not give up. That moment stuck with him and became a big deal in how people remember him. He just kept on advocating for the idea that we could unlock the mysteries of the universe through wireless communication. Although Tesla has been gone for a while, we still benefit from his brilliant inventions in our daily lives. Despite attempts to keep their inventions secret, their impact speaks volumes such as his contribution to wireless communication. Tesla rivals Edison by creating alternating current. The contributions of this genius range from electricity and robotics to radar and wireless communication. One of his most important achievements, perhaps the greatest of all time, was the creation of alternating current, or AC. This technology played a key role in the famous current war against the DC, the direct current systems of Thomas Edison. Eventually, alternating current proved to be more efficient and practical for long-distance electricity. Today, alternating current is the standard for the global electricity distribution network. It brightens our homes, makes different industries more efficient, and gives energy to the digital world. The development of alternating current electrical systems, largely due to Tesla's visionary thinking, allows us to transmit energy over great distances with minimal loss. His foresight profoundly shaped the way we use and distribute electricity. It's not just about light bulbs, it's about running our industry and how it works in the digital age. 
His influence stands through the ages, proving that great ideas survive despite attempts to suppress them. Tesla's inventive spirit continues to illuminate the history of technological innovation. When Tesla returned to New York from Colorado, he wrote a fascinating article in Century Magazine. In it, he shared a method for harnessing solar energy through an antenna. He believed that this breakthrough could lead to weather control and global wireless communications. The well-known American banker, J.P. Morgan, was enthusiastic about his ideas. In a personal meeting, Tesla extended incredible potential, including instant transmission of images and letters around the world. He envisioned the Earth as a vast interconnected network, like a colossal brain. Enthusiastic about the idea, Morgan offered 150,000 USD to build a transmission tower and a power station. Tesla knew that the amount might not cover his big plans, but he agreed to build and started on number eight, Pitkasari Sound View. Named after banker James Warden, the tower aims at a height of 57 meters and was topped with a massive 55-ton steel ball, a shaft, 36 and a half meters long, and an iron pipe 16 to 120 meters long, were designed to harness the Earth's energy through resonance. But resources remained scarce. Tesla sought more from Morgan, who was hesitant to give. On December 19th, one of Marconi sent a radio signal across the Atlantic. Tesla blamed Marconi, but Morgan blamed Marconi's cost-effective system that uses some Tesla patents. Tesla continued, but faced financial and market crashes in 1901 that doubled construction costs. Morgan withdrew his support, and the project was abandoned in 1917. However, in 2008, the U.S. authorities demolished the continuous tower which caused Tesla to become seriously ill. Thinking about the loss of his sight, he complained that it was not a dream, but a simple scientific electrical engineering, which is expensive. Tesla believed that sooner or later his weird inventions would help the world to grow and develop at a fast pace. Let's see some of his inventions and their main intentions. Tesla shook his own building. In 1940, Tesla organized an important event that had a profound impact not only on the history of New York, but also on its foundation. Tesla conducted a frightening but disturbing experiment in his humble laboratory. The building shook violently and seemed to collapse due to the strong vibrations he caused. This was no ordinary test. Tesla tried to synchronize these vibrations with the main structure of his laboratory. When chaos ensued, Tesla quickly used a simple hammer to shut down the generator and stop the catastrophic oscillations. He discovered the building's vulnerability and identified the true cause and origin of the service interruptions. A puzzle has been added to the event. This daring experiment inadvertently drew attention to Tesla's ambitious vision. Dynamic generator in Teluku, inspired by the seismic drama, Tesla envisioned a device capable of exploring the geological mysteries of the Earth, leading scientists to hidden mineral deposits beneath the surface. Tesla was unable to realize his seismic dreams, but his ideas had a lasting impact on the scientific community and inspired modern scientists and engineers. He introduced the New York world to a revolutionary concept centered around wireless telegraphy. His huge vision included setting off powerful explosions under the sea to create massive tidal waves capable of crippling an entire enemy fleet. Newspapers, surprisingly, reported that powerful navies were vulnerable. Tesla firmly believed that his invention could usher in an era of universal peace, bringing humanity closer to a world without war. In the late 1990s, Tesla came up with an exciting idea. He thought that at high altitudes where the air is thinner, it would be possible to transmit electricity through the air without the need for large wires. This concept fascinated Tesla and motivated him to prove its feasibility. However, he needed financial support to make this ambitious vision a reality. Fortunately, two soldiers, his close friend Leonard E. Curtis and the rich Colonel John Jacob Astor found his idea interesting enough to award him a large $30,000 reward for his work. In May 1909, he and his team went to Colorado and chose a site near Pikes Peak as an experimental station. 
Not only a scientist, but also a showman, Tesla used his charm to attract public interest. He teased journalists by promising to broadcast a radio signal from Pike's Peak. During a scientific expedition in Colorado, Tesla made an amazing discovery. He realized that when lightning struck the Earth, it created powerful waves that traveled across the planet. This revelation led him to wonder if the Earth could act as a powerful or less powerful conduit. To test this revolutionary theory, he tried to create electrical waves as powerful as lightning itself. This daring mission would become a pivotal moment in the history of science and technology. In this bid to be accepted and understood, he set out to make a tower from his inventions containing a lot of special ideas he had. How did he achieve this? Tesla's tower throws city into darkness. While Tesla stood on the edge of success, Tesla's laboratory in Colorado was exceptionally new. The space had a retractable roof that revealed the open sky and a 27-meter-high wooden tower for fire safety. At the top of the tower stood a 43-meter-high metal structure that supported a large copper sphere for creating Tesla's electrical inventor. The installation may sound like something out of science fiction. The main highlight inside the wooden tower was the Tesla coil, designed by Tesla himself. Its purpose was to direct powerful electrical pulses into the ground to act as a lightning conductor. All equipment was checked before the big test. Tesla, the brain behind it all, told his chief engineer to activate the switch for just one second. When the switch was turned, the secondary coil came alive with blue electric arcs. Tesla, an eccentric scientist of his time, was pleased with the initial result. Dissatisfied, he told the mechanic to close the switch again. Suddenly, massive blue electric arcs, each over 30 meters, shot up and down the central coil. Unfortunately, an accident occurred at the climax of the experiment. The dynamo of the El Paso Electric Company involved in the creation of Tesla could not withstand the enormous force and burned. As a result, the entire city was plunged into darkness to the dissatisfaction of the manager of the power plant. He demanded damages and compensation from Tesla. This incident became one of the most important experiments in the history of Tesla. Furthermore, Tesla made a secret weapon from his childhood lessons from his father, which made him hate and yet think about clever ways to quickly stop enemies during conflicts. What is this weapon and its use? The secret weapon to wipe out an army. He came up with an idea called Teleforce, which he shared with the world in 1934 through the New York Times. He said it could destroy 10,000 soldiers from 400 soldiers from an insane distance. The device used super-fast metal beams and a lot of power. Although people didn't misunderstand yet, they didn't call it a beam. He believed he used particles, not rays, in his inventions, but it took a lot of money to make it happen. Tesla asked J.P. Morgan for help, but since they had problems in the past, Morgan refused. Tesla also tried to ask the British Prime Minister, but he was not interested. Reluctantly, he contacted the leaders of the United States, Canada, England, France, and the Soviet Union to make the world more peaceful. To show that he was serious, he sent a detailed document explaining the innovations of the vacuum tube. Soviet power recognized the importance of Tesla's ideas and offered him 25,000 USD to kickstart the project. It is not clear if he gave them the actual device, but there are documents and plans that he produced. Researchers from the University of Adelaide used them to work on a Teleforce prototype. The future could see a high-tech weapon, thanks to Tesla's ideas for world peace. In 1898, Tesla presented an amazing invention at an electrical exhibition in Madison Square Garden. At that time, people were interested in science and great ideas. Tesla confidently presented the first model of a working radio-controlled robot that looked like a boat. The audience was very surprised because the boat moved without a wire connecting it to the control unit. This is where robotics as we know it began. Tesla's radio-controlled boat was not just any ordinary boat. It moved beautifully through the water and everyone was amazed. 
Some even thought that Tesla was controlling it and his mind was full of excitement. But he was sending signals to the boat with a small joystick. Tesla patented this incredible invention with US patent 613809. It described the first device in the world that could be controlled wirelessly. And it had a built-in battery. Tesla wasn't just thinking about boats. He imagined that his invention could be used in many different vehicles and machines. He dreamed of a future where only a few people could control an entire fleet of cars remotely or from anywhere. But not everyone understood what Tesla meant. Journalists asked if his invention could be used for military purposes, such as lowering boats or moving weapons independently. Tesla did not like war very much, so he felt sad about these questions. He explained that his technology was designed to make life easier by having robots do difficult tasks. Unfortunately, Tesla's invention was way ahead of its time, and people didn't know how practical it could be. But over time, history has shown us that Tesla's ideas laid the foundation for the wonderful world of robotics and remote control that we have today. Tesla had little assistance in the process of making ancient and advanced technology that he believed should be used in our daily lives and for the development of the world. What were these technologies? Tesla planned on making fast, flying airships. In 1919, Tesla had this incredible idea of very fast airships. Not ordinary airships, but futuristic flying devices powered by wireless electricity radiating from towers on the ground. Tesla didn't just dream, he passionately shared his vision. In an article published in Reconstruction in 1919, he spoke of his commitment to making these fast airships a reality and emphasized one important point, their power source. These airships can use power from various power plants, just as trains use rails. It was like having almost unlimited electricity. Tesla's idea was way ahead of its time, but firmly rooted in possible real-world scenarios. Unfortunately, hundreds of people in the early 19th century always found his grand vision somewhat depressing. One of Tesla's inventions that has attracted attention recently is a type of generator that has no moving parts. It is practical, and scientists wonder why they did not think of it before. Tesla's work, despite attempts to suppress it, led to the creation of these generators. Unlike traditional turbines and mechanical parts, they have a solid structure. They use the natural properties of materials and manipulate physical principles to create power. These generators benefit from phenomena such as the semiconducting effect, the low voltage effect, and radiation inception. Interestingly, the high temperature effect occurs when certain materials generate an electrical charge in response to mechanical stress. It has been cleverly used in generators that convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. Imagine a floor plate with high temperature materials that generate electricity when someone steps on it. This is a simple example of how geometry and material science combine energy from everyday activities. Another type of generator that has no moving parts is the thermoelectric generator, also known as a TEG. These devices convert temperature differences directly into electrical voltage using the best effect. TEG consists of thermoelectric materials that generate electricity when there is a temperature difference between them. Engineers can effectively capture and convert waste heat from industrial processes or even body heat into useful electrical energy by designing systems that maximize the surface area in contact with heat sources and heat sinks. The generation of these systems depends on their geometric design. The roots of these stationary generators go back to the 19th century when Jacques and Pierre Curie discovered the electric piezo effect in 1880 and the conduction and sieve effect in the 1880s. These discoveries created the basic principles of modern thermoelectric and high-voltage generators. However, to advances in material science and a better understanding of the effectiveness of solid-state physics in practical devices in the 20th century. Another principle that these generators use is electromagnetic induction, discovered by Michael Faraday in the 1830s. Unlike common generators that use motion to change the magnetic field, 
in a coil of wire and induce voltage with a stationary magnet generator. It uses magnetic field and conductor. This genius approach generates electricity through geometric arrangements and strategic placement of materials. The development of these technologies is driven by the demand for more versatile and sustainable energy solutions. Their applications are remarkably broad, ranging from power sources to remote sensors and equipment delivery. Power generation methods are impractical. The charm of these generators lies not only in their quiet, carefree operation, but also in their ability to utilize previously unused energy sources and convert daily forces and temperature differences into power. As material science advances, scientists create new materials with better electrical and thermoelectric properties. These advances expand the capabilities of stationary generators. Innovations in molecular technology and research in new materials such as graphene offer exciting possibilities for more efficient and compact energy generators without moving parts. Designing these devices is both art and science, requiring a deep understanding of physical principles and a creative approach to maximize energy conversion efficiency and changes in shape, size, and material composition for performance. Tesla focused primarily on electricity and early wireless communication, but in his work, he also explored mystical and ancient realms for inspiration. This time he focused on the Great Pyramid in Egypt, and he has some facts to give in it. Tesla thinks there's more to the Egyptian pyramids. This fascination extended to the Egyptian pyramids, where he believed they were not simply tombs, but advanced technological structures with a purpose beyond our understanding, which the Great Pyramid of Giza considered the possibilities. Tesla, known for his ability to imagine complex machines in his mind, apparently considered how ancient architects aligned the pyramids with the stars and incorporated precise mathematical constants into their design. He may have thought that the pyramids could function as giant power plants, using the natural energies of the Earth. This idea is in line with Tesla's vision of providing free energy. Many people, including Tesla, were interested in the idea that the pyramids could be sources of power or knowledge. This is not unique to Tesla. Other influential figures such as Graham Hancock and John Anthony West find the mysteries of Egypt fascinating. Hancock believes that ancient civilizations were more advanced than we think and suggests that the global pyramids were part of a global network for different purposes. The West challenges the standard and conventional dating of the pyramid and ties it to a lost civilization with advanced knowledge. Philosopher and systems theorist Irvin Laszlo shares this perspective, seeing ancient structures as potential sections in a cosmic web connected through the earthly realm. Laszlo's Akashic field theories, which refer to the interconnectedness of all points in space and time, correspond to Tesla's ideas about the universe as a vast energy network. He believed he discovered it while thinking and experimenting in Europe using a pendulum inspired by the ancient Egyptian pyramids. He thought they were not just tombs, but machines that could transmit electricity without wires. Bovis suggested that the pyramidal shapes naturally collected cosmic energy. He says, this energy can prevent foods like meat and fruit from spoiling and improve their taste and quality, making them less bitter or sour. In 1935, Bovis shared his findings in a self-published French pamphlet. He also made and sold small cardboard pyramids, claiming they could keep food fresh. Bovis advised people to put food inside these pyramids and line them up with the main rules. He suggested that these pyramids may have additional benefits, such as improving health, arousing sexual desire, and producing various effects. The concept of the arc of power and popularity of the Bovis Pyramid reached a peak in the 20th century. Bovis had an idea about the power of the pyramid, but many people, including historians and scientists, disagreed. There is no scientific proof that the power of the pyramid is real or that pyramids can keep food fresh or do anything special. The Egyptian pyramids are incredible structures created by intelligent and creative people, not magical or mysterious tools. They tell us a lot about the culture, religion, and history of the ancient Egyptians. Christopher Dunn is an engineer and author with a fascinating theory about the Great Pyramid of Egypt. Dunn believes this ancient wonder had a unique purpose, not just a colossal structure, but a power plant harnessing the forces of nature. According to Dunn, 
the pyramid was a cleverly designed device that used the vibrations of the earth and Nile water to generate energy. The rooms and passages under the cosmos are carefully arranged and the channels optimized. Dunn suggests that, in this chamber, a process called electrolysis splits the water into hydrogen and oxygen. He adds that the pyramid stored hydrogen gas in its upper chambers while oxygen was released through air shafts, so that the stored hydrogen could have used a laser and beamed a powerful light to the top of the pyramid. In Dunn's world, the ancient Egyptians may have been high-tech wizards who used lasers with their pyramids for communication, healing, defense, and even research. What part of these intriguing findings spark your curiosity? Let us know in the comments section also like, share, and subscribe for more related content.